In 1916, during World War I, walking liberty half-dollar coins were introduced and were in use until 1947, not long after the war. They became well known for their design, even though they were struck in turbulent times. Depending on its condition, a 1944 half dollar can be worth a few dollars or tens of thousands of dollars. In 1915, one of the most exquisite American coins was introduced as a result of Robert Wally, the mint director at the time, feeling that the previous half dollar design needed to be replaced. This new pattern took the place of the well liked barber half dollar. Adolf Weinmann's concept was eventually selected by the commission, despite Charles E. Barber's ability to submit a fresh design. Despite their beautiful design, Walking Liberty half dollars were not useful for daily use and were eventually replaced, albeit with little disappointment, by Franklin Half in 1947. Nonetheless, they are now well-liked collectibles, particularly the ones that are in mint condition and sell for hefty sums at auction. When the coins were in use, they lacked this newly discovered admiration and attention. Characteristics of the Walking Liberty Half Dollar of 1944 Adolf Alexander Weinmann, an American artist of German descent, created the Walking Liberty Half Dollar, one of the most exquisite American coins. Since the 1944 set is among the last to be produced, it is highly sought for, particularly by collectors. They also fall under the group of coins that are thought to be a good investment due to their silver content. The Liberty Walking Half Dollar depicts Lady Liberty striding confidently in the direction of the rising sun, signifying hope for the day ahead and the future. She is dressed in a flowing gown designed by Adolf Alexander Weinmann, which has an American flag draped over her shoulders. Her arms extended hand represents liberty, while the branches of oak and laurel she is holding stand for both civil and military honor. The slogan, In God We Trust, and the word liberty surround her from above while the date is beneath her feet. Oscar Rhodey's The Sower served as the inspiration for Weinman's obverse design. With very little alterations, this timeless depiction of Lady Liberty has been used on American coinage since 1986, making it one of the most identifiable numismatic images. The Walking Liberty Half Dollar's reverse design sought to evoke strength and inventiveness, but minting proved difficult due to the coin's many elements. The wording United States of America is positioned above the head of the bald American eagle that serves as the main focal point. Partially spread-winged, the eagle looks boldly off into the distance from its perch atop a rocky foothill with mountain pine seedlings in the foreground. The motto, E Pluribus Unum, is emblazoned above the twig, and the bottom of the coin bears the denomination Half Dollar. On the right side, beneath the eagle's wing, are the designer's initials precisely 0.3617 troy ounces, 12.5 g of silver, are contained in each piece, which weighs 0.4019 troy ounces, 12.5 g. For this sort of coin, the usual diameter is 1.2059 inches, 30.63 mm, while the thickness is 0.0709 inches, 1.8 mm. Value guides for walking liberty. Half dollars, 1944. Three mints produced exactly 46,879,000 Walking Liberty Half Dollars in 1944, marking the end of World War II. You won't discover any pieces meant for collectors from 1944 because the U.S. Mint only produced proofs from 1936 to 1942. 1. 1944. No mint mark half dollar. The Walking Liberty Half Dollar was minted in 1944 in 28,206,000 pieces by the Philadelphia Mint. This year's coins are generally reasonably priced, with most in circulation costing between $1.17 and $1.25. Coins in AU condition are usually between $1.27 and $1.50. Coins in mint condition, on the other hand, might fetch a premium price depending on their quality. Coins classed MS-60 through MS-67 can be purchased for $1.55 to $1,200, although specimens graded MS-68 are very rare and costly. A 1944 Walking Liberty Half Dollar in MS-68 condition is thought to be worth approximately $65,000, while auctions frequently see higher bids for these coins. One such coin, for instance, sold for $109,250 in 2010, illustrating the premium that collectors are prepared to pay for exceptional examples. 2. 1944 D half dollar. 
With a total of 9,769,000 coins, the Denver Mint produced the second highest quantity of Walking Liberty half dollars in 1944. Most of these silver coins were used in regular circulation. These coins currently sell for between $1.17 and $1.50 on the market, with uncirculated examples commanding greater prices. The estimated costs according to condition are as follows. $1.55 for MS60, $1.64 for MS61, $1.77 for MS62, $1.87 for MS63, $1.115 for MS64, $1.165 for MS65, $1.260 for MS66, $1,225 for MS67. Coins with an MS68 grade, however, are rare, and this has a big effect on their cost. A walking Liberty half dollar from the Denver Mint in MS68 condition is predicted to bring about $60,000 at auction. One of these coins sold for $57,600 in 2021, making it the most costly item made in Denver during that year. 3. 1944 S half dollar. With 8,904,000 walking Liberty. Half dollar coins minted, the San Francisco Mint had the lowest mintage in 1944. Still, the mintage has little effect on low-grade coins in good-to-AU condition, which usually sell for between $17 and $55. On the other hand, San Francisco Mint Mint State specimens are often a little more costly than coins from the other two mints. Their average pricing ranges from $60 for MS60 pieces to $775 for MS66 pieces. The half certified MS67 are the best quality, bearing the S Mint mark. They can sell for between $14,500 and $42,500 and are in great demand. One such coin sold for $40,800 at auction in 2021, illustrating the premium that collectors are willing to pay for exceptionally high quality San Francisco mint specimens. Error list for rare 1944 Walking Liberty Half Dollar One, hand cut AW. Certain Walking Liberty Half Dollar coins are disputed by some collectors as variations or mistakes. In particular, several Denver mint specimens were struck without designer initials. Thus, mint employees had to manually engrave them. These coins normally sell for between $1.150 and $1.160 in the current market. Still, the record for these coins at auction is remarkably high. One 1,944 D MS 67 plus half dollar, with this flaw sold for $3,290 in 2014, demonstrating collectors' strong interest in and appreciation for the piece. 2. Missing Adolf Weinman's initials. A few parts remain devoid of the designer initials. Nobody saw that these coins were missing AW letters when they were punched. As a result, they seemed incomplete when they were circulated. Coins that no longer have Weinman's initials on them are currently valued about $125. 3. Repunched S Mint Mark. Repunched Mint Marks. RPM coins, which include this kind of mistake were also discovered at the San Francisco Mint. The mint mark is pierced twice on these coins because the first letter was positioned incorrectly. Although they are widely available in all grades, uncirculated examples usually sell for between $200 and $300. The precision with which the second mint mark punch is positioned frequently determines the actual price. To illustrate the value and interest in these mistake coins, the 1,944 SSMS 66 revolutions per minute half dollar which sold for $893 in 2013, is the most expensive coin of its kind to ever be auctioned. We will now draw to a close. I hope sharing this experience with you was as enjoyable as it was for me. Remember to hit the bell symbol, like the video, and subscribe to the channel in order to get notified when new ones are posted. See you in the upcoming article. I'm going to miss you.